welcome to my channel in this video lecture we are going to talk about the convolution coding using a time domain and transform domain approach let us take one example for the convolution encoder shown in the figure information sequence is given d equal to 10011 find the sequence output sequence using the following two methods one is a time domain and there is a transform domain both are same in uh, some example in some of the books they use m1 m2 m3 in some cases they take input without any memory element flip flop so they write like this also given information g1 equal to 111 gt equal to 101 input given as a 100111 the total number of message bits given are 5 rate is half indicates for every one input bit i have a two output bits and uh, n equal to 2 k equal to 1 and m is a memory size i have two flip flops hence the memory size is 2 n k comma in general we write for a convolutional coding n is a 2 k is a 1 and memory is a 2 there are two approaches one is a time domain approach and there is a transform domain approach before we go to the each approach now one should know the mod to addition 1 plus 1 will be equal to 0 1 plus 0 or 0 plus 1 will be equal to 1 and 0 plus 0 will be equal to 0 and the generator matrix size is given by in general l into l cross uh, n into bracket n plus m L is number of five bits are given input. Memory is a two plus n is also two. So I need five cross fourteen matrix size. Now let us consider the time domain approach first. How to write a generator matrix? G one is given as a one one one. G two is given as a one zero one. Data is given one double zero one one. Now, how to write a generator matrix? You may have a G1, G2. In some other case, you may have a G1, G2, G3, G4 like that. But the procedure will remain same. Write down the first bit of G1, first bit of G2, one. Again, first bit of G2. Next, write down the second bit of G1, second bit of a G2. Write down one, followed by second bit zero. Write down the third bit of a G1. Write down the third bit of a G2. So if I have a G1, G2, G3 like that, first bit of G1, G2, G3, second bit of G1, G2, G3 like that. Then remaining, I have to append zeros. I know number of columns needed is 14. Remaining, I have to make it zero. Then next step, rotate two bits. When I rotate two bits, I'll get two zeros. Then remaining as it is. And again, rotate two bits. Why two bits only? I have a G1 and G2 in this case. So if I have a G1, G2, and G3, rotate three bits. So if I have G1, G2, G3, G4, rotate four bits. That is a in general you have to remember. Now again I have rotated. I got this. So this I have to continue. So how many times I know the matrix size? Five by fourteen. Now the matrix looks like. This G1 is this, G2 is this, and this is a G matrix. The size of this is five cross fourteen. Now, to get the code word C equal to D into G, D is a given information or a data bit. G is a generator matrix which you have done just now. The C is given as a one double zero one double one. Now I have to multiply this with a G and I have to write the answer. That will be the code word. How to do it? It's very simple method. Multiply this row with this column. Add. For example, one into one is one. Zero to zero is zero. Zero to zero is zero. One to zero is zero. Last one, last zero is zero. So when I add all this, what I'll get after multiplying and adding? So I'll get one. Now do it a second run. Only one bit is there here. Remaining all are zero. Hundred percent will get zero when I Multiply one into one plus zero. What I'll get one. Try with the third one. So in the third one, now 
this 1 1 is there 1 0 is there 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1 all are remaining are 0 what will the answer definitely 1 similarly I can do a fourth one so second bit is 1 0 into 1 all are 0 remaining 0 so hence 0 into 1 plus 0 what you will get 0 like that pause here do the remaining later you cross verify the answer for this is 1 similarly for remaining you will get a 1111010111 code word is this the what you got in transform domain approach i write these data bits g1 and g2 all in the polynomial form now d of x is a one double zero double one i write one plus zero is there therefore x is not there x square is not there x cube and x4 similarly g1 g2 i have written polynomial now output polynomial of a ad adders are given by this is the equation c of 1 equal to d of x into g of 1 into x both polynomial are multiplied and i got the answer this this i to write in terms of zeros and 1 all 1 x x square x cube is there but x4 is not there hence 0 x5 is not there hence 0 x6 is there hence this we have done for c of 1. Similarly, you have to do it for another one. Second bit, what you get out of it? C of 2. There d of x is same, but generator polynomial is different. Simply multiply these two. And this is the answer what you got in terms of polynomial. Now, you have to write in terms of 0 and 1. We got c of 1 equal to this, c of 2 equal to this. Now, the c of x is given by c of 1 into x square plus x into c of 2 into x square because only i have a 2 c1 c2 therefore i have taken x square if it is a 3 sir g1 g2 g3 what to do you will get a x cube that i'll show you the one example later now multiplying uh, c of 1 x into c of 2 i'll get the polynomial when i convert that into zeros and ones i'll get this and you can compare the time domain approach answer with the transform domain approach. Both should remain same. Another example, simply you can glance. Here G1, G2, G3 are given. So now 3 bit I will write. First bit of a all G1, G2. Second bit of G1, G2, G3. Third bit of G1, G2, G3. Remaining all are 0. Rotate now 3 times. How many rows I need depending upon the input bits. I need 3 plus 4, 5. 5 bits are there. Hence, I have to need take 5 bits. 5 rows. Now, C equal to D into G, I know. And D is given. G is just now written. Multiply. And again, you add all these. For example, 31101, 31101, only 1, 1. 1 into 1 plus 0, you will get a 1. Like that, you pause here, multiply, and check whether the answer is correct or not. And uh, in case of transform domain, I have polynomial form G1, G2, G3. Like that, I'll write C1, C2, C3. And simply I'll multiply and I'll write a polynomial form and in terms of zeros and ones. Similarly, C of 2 also I'll write. The C of 2 what changes? G2. And again, multiply, write the polynomial. Third, I write G3. And d of x, I'll get a, another polynomial. You only can write in terms of zeros and ones also. The total is equal to c1 is given, c2 is given, c3 is given. c is given by, now 3 are there, therefore it is a x cube. So one more is there, take a x4. But here you'll get a 1x x square. This is a general format you have to remember. Simply fill these values and uh, find out the polynomial. Replace it in terms of zeros and 1. This is the answer what you are going to get. And uh, time domain also I got the same code word. Even for transform domain also I got the same code word. Thank you for watching this video. For more information you can visit these links. And uh, if you like please subscribe the channel. And share with your friends. Thank you.